But there you go. Mark your calendars. Tuesday, March 23rd. I'm 100% sure about that date. I am so sure that if you don't get an event on March 23rd, I will shave off my eyebrows. I'll do it. I will do it right here for you on this show. You think I'm playing Tim Cook? <sighs> Mother I will give you $10 if you subscribe right now. That's actually not true. I lied. But subscribe anyway and turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next episode. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, the episode you've been waiting for, FPT Fapata. That's right, I know, the, like, the last couple episodes I forgot to say Fapata. And for some reason, everyone lost their minds in the comments. Why do you guys like Fapata so much? So, as you probably already know, it has been a crazy and absolutely insane, like, 24 hours or so. We've gone from there's definitely an Apple event on March 23rd, a date that I was so sure about, in fact, that I bet my eyebrows over it. <sighs> More on that part later. To now, a couple nights ago, I reported that actually there's no March event at all. The event that we're all expecting is in April. And as of right now, as far as I know, I'm the only one that has reported that an actual event is happening in April. And by the way, you have every right to be skeptical about this. Number one, because Apple doesn't do April events. They haven't. In fact, I think the only one that they ever did was over 10 years ago. Apple doesn't do events in April, so you have every right to be skeptical for that. But also, because literally you were just told that there was an event on March 23rd and that was wrong. So why would you believe April? You were just told by nearly every highly rated leaker that there was an event on March 23rd. So I will not blame you for not believing this one, but I did it. I figured it out after some major deep dive, very sketchy investigating. <sighs> what actually happened is pretty f crazy. What I can tell you is this. This was not some last minute change from Apple. They didn't like see all the leaks and then change the date to make all the leakers look bad. I mean, I wish that's what happened because then maybe there'd be a better excuse for all this. But it, the truth is there was never a March event. There was never an event that was going to happen in March. See, I was told by a source back in February when I asked about an event in March, they replied, April, not March winky face <laughs> that was it now the thing about this source and i can't tell you much but this source is very mysterious vague but also crazy scary accurate i mean i don't want to run down everything they've ever told me in the past because i very 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 much especially now want to make sure that i protect them but listen a hundred percent one hundred percent of everything they have ever told me has been accurate down to every small last detail. But because they're vague and mysterious, a lot of the times I don't have enough information from them to work with. And when other trusted sources of mine, multiple of them tell me the same date, March 23rd, I was inclined to believe them, seeing as an Apple event in April made little to no sense to me. But here we are, literally every single one of them was wrong. And the source that told me a month ago that the event wasn't actually happening until April was right all along. And it wasn't just my sources. That same date, March 23rd, was also reported by Kang, an Apple source with 98% accuracy, the highest rated source we have ever had. The 23rd was also reported by Love to Dream, who's 89% accurate. And on Tuesday, when everyone expected invites for that event to come out, the whole internet was sitting and refreshing Apple's website and nothing. Nothing happened. Tim Cook was probably sitting there on his phone looking at Twitter laughing from a corner the entire time. I don't think we've ever seen anything like this. So, how? How did it happen? All of us, the three of us, with different sources, how did we all hear the same date? A date that, though it hasn't happened yet, I now know is completely wrong. And I know a lot of you, at least from what I've seen on Twitter and in the comments, a lot of you probably think that March 23rd was the correct date, and then Apple just changed it on us last minute. But that's just not the case. The reality is we were just flat out wrong. I was wrong. And the fact that we all got the same date from our sources around the same time tells me that Apple directly fed us that information. 
wrong information. And the crazy thing is, it's not like we all share the same sources. If that was the case, we'd all have the same level of accuracy. Somehow, Apple managed to feed the wrong date to a handful of the top leakers. And it worked. And you know, maybe, haha, -ha, they were able to fool Kang and love to dream with the March 23rd date. But I'm taking an even bigger L here because I knew. I knew. I was told from a source that has never steered me wrong that the event was in April. And I didn't listen. That's all the way my fault. So April it is. And I should have told you April last month when I got the information and we could have avoided all of this. Regardless, you're gonna get an Apple event, like a real Apple event in April. But this is the name of the game, right? This is why the leaks scene can be super sketchy, but also super fun. A lot of people hate it. A lot of people love it. And Apple clearly got us with this one, which makes me worry about how they did it, how they managed to compromise the sources of all of these top leakers. Obviously, that source that told me April all along is someone that I can trust and someone who somehow was not affected by this little canary trap. I can't blame you, like, not even a little bit for not believing this or being skeptical about this. As far as I know, right now I'm the only person saying that there's an actual Apple event happening in April. And this is after I just got the March 23rd date wrong. So I'm telling you this right after I got something wrong. But I'm completely sure of this because of the level of the source that is giving me the information. They've never steered me wrong before and I'm completely confident that for the first time in over 10 years, we're getting an Apple event in the month of April. Obviously, this took some serious work behind the scenes to unweave and figure out, but that's part of my job. And I know March 23rd hasn't technically happened yet, and I, I know I'm correcting this leak, and the new information will end up being totally accurate. But the fact is, I first told you March 23rd as the date. A date that is going to end up being wrong. And just because I figured it out and I'm correcting it now, it doesn't make it not that way. I was so sure about that March 23rd date that I bet my stupid eyebrows on it. Something that you might remember I did throughout last year, like for the September event, I promised to shave my eyebrows if the iPhone 12 was announced at the event. Because of course, I had been reporting that it was delayed till October, November. Promising to shave my eyebrows has been something that the media has written articles about and something that has made things super fun and interesting for once around these parts. Especially since every single time that I bet my eyebrows on something, I wasn't wrong. But here we are. And I did say that I would shave my eyebrows if there was no event on March 23rd. And as a man of my word, I will in fact be shaving my eyebrows off as promised. I can't believe it, but okay, so here's how we're gonna do this, Toilet Squad. On March 23rd, the date that I got wrong, the date that we should have had an Apple event, I will shave off my eyebrows during the show. And I mean it, yes, I'm actually gonna do it. I'm not gonna fake it, I'm gonna do it for real. But wait. It gets better. To make sure some good comes of this and it's not just some stupid asshole shaving off his eyebrows because he got an apple leak wrong, all of the money that is made from that episode will be donated to Wigs for Kids, a charity that provides free custom wigs for children who lost their own hair due to illness, medical treatments, or burns. There will also be a link available to you guys on that episode so you can directly donate to them on top of the ad revenue from that episode that will be donated. 100% of the money made from that episode will be donated to Wigs for Kids. So instead of just watching an episode where I, a stupid person shaves off his eyebrows for getting something wrong, I think this is a good opportunity for the Toilet Squad to come together as a community and make a big impact in the lives of many, many children who deserve it. All while being able to watch your Toilet Squad leader shave off his eyebrows and humiliate himself on the show. So that's that. There is no March event. The March event that we all wanted is actually happening in April. It was always going to happen in April and somehow Apple duped three of the top leakers. It will be a pre-recorded live streamed event as we got used to last year and it will be the first Apple event in 11 years to happen in the month of April. But man, I gotta hand it to you Tim, I gotta hand it to you Apple, you almost caught me all the way. You got a lot of us almost all the way but somehow at the last second I figured it out. I found out thanks to some really, really great sources, I did manage to find out what is actually happening. But I still gotta shave off my eyebrows and let you watch. So there's that. But let's be honest, what other leakers make it this fun? You 
remember that time when you were younger, when your dad sat you down and had that conversation with you about always using protection? You know what he was talking about, right? We VPN, that's right. Using the internet without a VPN is like raw dogging every website you visit. You nasty ass. You want to be nasty? Protect yourself, your privacy, and your dignity across all of your devices with WeVPN. And unlike other VPNs, WeVPN does not keep any of your logs, it doesn't track you, trace you, and allows you to stream any content from anywhere with no restrictions. And it's super fast too! That's right, you can go as fast as you want even while you're wearing protection. And because WeVPN is part of the Toilet Squad, you can get an extra 10% off just by using the promo code FPT at checkout. And of course, a huge thanks to WeVPN for paying my electric bill. And that's it, that's the show. Hopefully you liked it. You learned something if you did, hit the like button if you hate my stupid face. Dislike button, that's fine, that works too. Sorry about this one, internet. It was a doozy. See you in a couple days. Oh, <laughs>